to the temple, then? That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. Valigarmanda is no more. Yours is a victory worthy of song. Mm. We had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town. But the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? What more would we test, Zurmurwar? They have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jalja, then no one is. Now that our last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Makes five. Only two left to collect. Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. And for losing Valyarmanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha. I'll consider it, if it's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. a day for unusual visitors. You... woke Lamat, was it not? I doubt that you could slay Valigar Manda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the Vidral been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet a debt has been incurred all the same. It will haunt me if I do not repay it. 
Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the gold... Oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. The golden dreams. Yes, we have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shaktural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Every building was a palace. And in their midst reign a silent goddess. A statue so tall, even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A statue of a goddess. That's new. Aye, and compared to the abstract imagery we'd previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions. Come. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps. Who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams, nor dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel, but after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once our people's withdrawal to Urkopacha was complete, we never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there. Thank you for sharing your stories with us. I do not require gratitude. I merely repaid a debt. Farewell, Wook Lamat. I do not think our paths will cross again. Yeah.